weather forecast. Hey there, good morning. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Lauber. Happy Friday to you. Thursday was pretty kind to us. We had some good rainfall during the early morning hours and a lot of you have asked us, Hey, did we get some rain in the watershed? Is this going to help our lake levels or the issues we've had with the water restrictions? So let's talk about how that rain has impacted the coastal bend. We'll start out with this view rainfall over the past 72 hours here. And as we populate the rain, you can see a lot of that focused off in the Houston area. That's where those brightly shaded colors are. I've got the Noises River watershed outlined here in white. And whenever we have rainfall in this area, it's very good for us. But as you zoom in a little closer, you can tell from the lighter shades of blue and the dark blues, we didn't get a whole lot of rain at most, maybe a half inch and a few isolated spots. The silver lining here, we did get some rainfall in the area of Lake Corpus Christi and Choke Canyon. And those are the two places. If we could drop a pin and tell the sky where to drop the rain, those would be the two places to help our lake levels. But uh, hopefully we'll get some more opportunities down the road. But another silver lining, our northeastern neighborhoods don't need any help watering the lawn. We had some good rainfall totals there, as you see from the greens in the area of Aransas County. So by the numbers, here's how that tallied up. Yesterday, we picked up 0.84 inches of rain in Rockport on our way to an inch there. We got over a half inch in Port A, nearly two tenths in the Bluff at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi, and we had three tenths on the nose at CCIA. So that's pretty good. Unfortunately, our southwestern neighborhoods didn't really pick up a whole lot. So again, hopefully for the next one, that means more luck for you. But uh, so far this morning, things are dry except for the fog. We're dealing with dense fog across the area. Dense fog advisory in a place for everyone, including the local bays and waterways. The only place not under this advisory is Jim Hogg County. And I'm going to tell you, act like you are under that dense fog advisory. It just means your visibility won't drop to a quarter of a mile or worse but we're still dealing with some visibility problems there. This advisory will be in a place in place until 9 a.m. on land over the water. That's going to take an extra hour to clear up, so that'll be in place until 10 a.m. So here's a look at current conditions across the board. Temperatures about average for this time of the year, upper 50s to about 60 degrees. And yeah, that visibility is uh, really struggling in a lot of places, so take it slow this morning. We don't have much for wind. That's why a lot of that moisture is just settling, but the wind is going to be a very important factor factor in our forecast today. So for the rest of this morning, we'll turn to the dog walking forecast. Our friends Duff and Boone found some blue bonnets out there. And if you've got some that uh, you can take some photos of, today's weather is going to be perfect for that. Share them in our Coastal Bend Weather Watchers Facebook group so we can all enjoy with you. But that dog walk is going to be a nice one as we get from the 60s to the upper 70s by lunchtime. Our winds will be friendly today. Start to pick up around 10 miles per hour throughout the morning into the lunchtime hours, but that wind direction plays a very big role. So the big weather picture looks like this. Our storm system has moved off to the northern Gulf Coast, but on the back side of this low pressure, remember, goes counterclockwise around low pressure. So we're going to have a northwest wind, a dry wind coming our way, and that makes for the downslope effect. It takes that cooler, drier air in the hill country, the Edwards Plateau, and when it gets down here to sea level, what was cooler air on its way here is going to compress, so it's going to warm it up. And our highs today are really going to be warm. We're talking 90 degrees in Corpus Christi and some other places hitting it or very close to that number. That's well above our average. This time of the year, we expect to hit about 78. So yeah, it's going to be hot. But don't worry, this weekend we cool it back down. We're talking the neighborhood of 80 degrees. We'll hit that on Sunday. Disrespectful winds in the forecast, gusts up to 40 miles per hour, not out of the question. So looking at the next seven days, make some weekend plans. It's going to be beautiful aside from that wind. And unfortunately, no meaningful rainfall in the forecast over the next seven days.